tell you what, it's a nice day outside. Why don't we take a spin around the interface? Now, this is the Lightroom 5 interface. Don't worry about the images I have. We'll deal with images and catalogs later. Let's just take a look at what we have and what Lightroom has to offer us. Now, we are in the library module, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different modules. Library is where you start. In the library module, you have something called Navigator over here, and it will show you the selected or the active image, and you do that by clicking on the image over here. We are currently in the grid view. We'll get into a lot more detail on this later. Over here, you have other things like your catalogs, where things are, import buttons, export buttons. Over here, you have things that you can do to the image that's active in the library module. You have things like quick develop. There's keywords, keyword list, metadata, comments. Now, notice if I come over to Navigator in that little triangle and collapse it. You can collapse anything you want. That's called being sticky, if you've ever heard that term. And what does that mean? It means that if I collapse Navigator or open something else or collapse something else and I come back tomorrow and reopen Lightroom, it will be the way it was when I closed it. So let me reopen that because I like the Navigator. Now we've got the navigator here with stuff. We've got the grid view here. Notice if I hover over an image, it lights up. But it doesn't become active, of course, until I click on it, and then you see it over here. Down here at the bottom is the film strip. Watch what happens when I hover over an image in the film strip. Now it doesn't make it the active image, but what it does is allows me a larger view inside of the navigator if I decide that's the one I want as my active image to work on, then I can click on it here. So I can do it up here, or I can do it down here, but I have the advantage down here of seeing the images in the navigator as I hover. That is an option in your catalog settings that we talked about earlier. If you don't like that, you can turn that off. Now this is the library. You spend a lot of time in the library, but we have a lot of other modules. Let's go to develop. Now we have an image selected, you know, whichever one it is. Then you go to develop. Now in develop, you see the image nice and big. That's nice. You have things over here like presets. You do something once, you want to do it again. You can make presets, snapshot. There's history, collections, which I love. Over here is all the stuff you can do. And look at all the stuff. You got tone curves and use saturation and lightness and color, black and white, split toning, detail. There are a lot of things that we can do to manipulate an image in Lightroom without ever going, say, to Photoshop. And the cool thing is, every single thing we do is non-destructive. But the develop module is where we kind of, well, develop the image. If you want to change to another image, you don't have to go back to the library. You can do that down here. The next one is map. This came out in Lightroom 4. I love this thing. We got a whole chapter on this. You can take your images and geo-position them. Now, if you have a camera that has a built-in GPS system, like phones do, like iPhones, when you come here, your images will be on the map based on where you took them. If you don't have that, but you want to put them somewhere, well, you can drag them up here if you want to. Make the map bigger so you can find something. But let's say, for example, this photo right here was taken outside of London, and I can actually blow up the United Kingdom over here until I get to the exact street and even see the house. That's a uh, Google map. And actually drop it right on top if I want to. I love this feature. It is really cool. And like I said, if you have a GPS-enabled camera, it does it automatically. There are some new features in book. Now, I've written 17 books, not photo books. But let's say I want a photo book of my stuff. I come here to do it. And there's a lot of different layouts we can use. We can choose the images down here and add them up here. Again, we'll spend a whole chapter on this. We have slideshow. There's some new features here, too. Now, here's where... This comes in the identity plate. It says Lightroom 5 up here. See it here? Now, I mentioned earlier in the chapter on preferences why you might want to change that, and I would mention it to you later. This is your slideshow. You're showing your images to your clients on whether they're going to buy them or not, and that says up there your name, not Lightroom 5. That would be one of the reasons I would change the identity plate. Next one over is print. Now, print is, I suppose, pretty straightforward if your goal is to take a photograph and print it. But there are a lot of really cool features in here. Print resolution changes, print sharpening, lots of different things you can do, even changing the format over here. And then last but certainly not least is I want to create a web page out of all my wonderful photographs. And all you got to do is set it up here and start working. 
This is my favorite one in terms of just being cool. You click on them and they get bigger. Now that's exactly how the page would function if it was on your website. So from library to web, those are the different modules in Lightroom. We select our images. Maybe we want to do something simple. We stay in the library. But then we've got develop, maps, books, slideshows, prints, and webs to do all kinds of other things. And you're never leaving Lightroom. This program is way more than just simply an organizational tool.